Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian again over at Marty's Buick GMC. And I want to take a couple minutes to highlight some features on the GMC Yukon. We are going to have a few of these on special for Washington's birthday sales event. So I wanted to give you guys a quick walk around so you could actually see uh, what the vehicle is all about. Uh, I know pictures are great, but sometimes it's good to see an actual walk around. Almost like you're right here with me. Uh, if you look below at the little gear icon at the bottom of this YouTube video, you can actually set it into 720 HD to give you a much better look, much cleaner picture. So, with that said, this is the uh, 2013 Yukon. Uh, you know, great if you got a bunch of kids, you got to squash the whole family in there, go on trips, uh, soccer games, football games, basketball games, whatever the case may be, you can pack your whole life into this thing and off you go. Uh, with that being said, we'll start out in the back. And open this up. Uh, there is a rubber handle underneath there. You just give it one quick touch and the door opens all on its own. You can see the, uh, the mats here are still all wrapped up in plastic. You get your third row seat and you can see your captain's chairs in the back for second row and then obviously captain's chairs up front. Right here you can see touch one touch button. Just give that a touch and the back drops down for you. And from here we will take a walk on the inside and see where this beauty really shines. Get in here and get warm. Yeah, I'll fire it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll this window up here. All right, so we're in. First thing you'll probably notice. In fact, you know what? Let's move this real quick because the sun's kind of in the way. So we're gonna just move this. out of the way of the sun so you guys can get a better view all right and while I'm actually driving around I'll show you guys first uh, right up here on the rearview mirror hopefully you guys can make out what that is uh, that's actually a rear view camera that pops up in the mirror so you can see if I, if I put it into drive you'll see go an inch or two off it goes. If I throw it back into reverse, there's your review camera. Uh, it's really accurate. It takes a minute to get used to, uh, you know, so you get to know what your distances are. Uh, but it's really nice to have, especially in a vehicle this large. Down low, you can see there's your radio. Obviously, AM, FM radio ready, XM satellite ready, um, CD, MP3, all all the normal. I mean, you're looking at a at a vehicle that's. That's up there, you know. It's it's a high-end vehicle, so it's going to have all the all the major functions that you'd normally expect to see. Down low, your climate control options. You can see right now I have this thing cranked up to 90 in hopes that it gets nice and toasty in here because it's pretty cold outside. Your uh, defrost is here. Your rear defrost. Uh, you can disable parking assist if you want. Not that anyone ever does. Traction control, foot pedal adjustments, and your power outlets are here. They do give you two of them which is nice now, especially since we're always plugging in 38 cell phones, iPads, computers, whatever else the case may be. Uh, up here, this set of buttons, uh, you'll see these buttons I'm going to touch right here, and you can see what they do. If you look at your dash, you can see it'll give you oil life remaining, it'll give you, um, hopefully that glare is not too, too bad. Um, there we go. Uh, change language door locks, tire pressure, how long the engines run, um, tripometers, your fuel range, your economy, everything. I mean, anything you could possibly think of, um, these buttons will, will float you through all the different options. This will be something to play with and see which option you want to look at. Uh, up here is your steering wheel controls. Obviously, the right here is your, uh, your voice dial for your phone. Uh, your source option, so you can change the radio from AM, FM, or XM radio, and your volume controls are right here on the back. And they do a really good job. It's actually a really nice placement because your, your, your fingers sit right there and your thumb can tap those controls. Uh, over on the left side, you're going to have your cruise control settings. Your cruise on and off, resume, set. Uh, obviously, this is coast, and the plus sign will increase your speed. We'll to cancel it. And it, it also has heated steering wheel. 
And if that's not the best thing in New England, I really don't know what is. Heated steering wheel is awesome. The steering wheel is so warm right now. I had it on a little bit early before I took the vehicle out because it's so cold outside and it's so nice and warm. Uh, also, over here on the left, you can see your heated seats, which will pop that on there too as well, so you get a little bit warmer in here. This is your four-wheel drive option. You can just give this a spin. That'll jump you between four-wheel drive settings, two-wheel drive, automatic, four-wheel drive, and you just wait for that, that light. You'll see it'll blink for a second and then switch. Once it switches in, you know you're there. This button here is for your fog lights. I love the look of the front of this vehicle with the fog lights on, so I usually always have the fog lights on. It's usually one of the first things I turn on. Uh, over here you can see it's got a, it gives you a huge center console with tons of storage. You can't even see the depth, but it goes down way down here. You could fit a small child in there if you needed to, but I think the back should give you enough room. Up top you also have a moonroof, full sliding moonroof. Uh, you can also just do the, if you just want to leave it a crack and get yourself some air. The other thing I didn't mention about the rear view mirror is it also has uh, the light sensor in it. So if someone's got the high beams on behind you, it's driving you crazy. It'll actually auto dim on its own. So you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, wood grain interior, wood grain across the sides on the door frames. Looks really nice. I'm going to jump out real quick and give you guys a peek in the back. So you can see how much room you really have back here. Uh, so these are your two captain's chairs. Uh, right there you have audio input controls so you can let the kids listen to something that you uh, don't want to listen to. Uh, also gives you another auxiliary out and heated seats as well back here. And if you can see in the back, there's your third row. Uh, like I said, plenty of space, plenty of storage. These seats do fold all the way up. You can even pull them out if you needed to. Um, so if you're only going to travel with two people and the captain's chairs back here and you wanted to stuff the back, you can do that as well. Uh, so that's just a couple of the highlights. Like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around, let you guys see you know, what the vehicle is all about, uh, see it up close personal, and get a chance to sit inside with me. Um, if you guys have any questions, there should be a phone number that's going to pop up here on the screen in just a minute. And you can give that number a call if you have any questions or concerns or just want to know a little bit more information about the vehicle. Uh, there's also, if you look in the description, I'm going to put a couple links in there with uh, some information as well as a link to our Facebook page. We do a lot of giveaways, uh, a lot of freebies, raffles, all kinds of cool things. I think the last thing we did was a uh, free alignment. So that's kind of nice. Um, I also post up all the pictures and videos that I take uh, throughout the week up there. Uh, so I take a lot of cool pictures. I take them around town locally. So if that's something you might be interested in seeing, check us out there. Um, other than that, uh, you can also comment in the uh, comment box below this video and give me a thumbs up if you appreciate if you appreciate the video. Uh, I'm trying my best to get uh, get the information out there for everybody. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon. And you know, take care.